this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my auto ship from Home Shoppers Network, and it is the Foil Quill Freestyle Pen Auto Ship. Now, I have really bad juju when it comes to HSN's <laughs> auto ship program, so if you want to know what's going on with my bad juju, stick around to the end of the video. But let's get to this. So I did not get the first auto ship. So this is actually the second auto ship and my first time opening any auto ship from HSN. So let's see what's in here. This one is called the Card Making Kit. I will leave you a link down below to the first video I did, which is just me showing how to use the freestyle pens, my first experience with them. Okay, so let's look what we have here. I'm going to open it all up and look at what's in here, and then we'll start playing. And I see there's some kit contents. Four stencils. I'm just reading this off. So let's see if we can see this really well. Bundle of Joy Baby. So this is some baby's um, sentiments. Happy birthday. And there is some, so what we have is some print and calligraphy. Celebrate is birthday balloons. And then another one, oops, I don't want to get them stuck. I think it's best to actually store these with paper in between them. Congrats, good luck, best wishes, girl, good job, get well, much gratitude, thinking of you, grateful, hello, and thank you. So, and then these are ones that you can trace over the foil. And they are a nice thin weight, which is what you need. So one of the things you could do, uh, because once you start using them, they do get a little worn. You could photocopy copy these or trace these onto some tracing paper and use that. So that's the four stencils. And then these are the five traceable sheets. And I'm going to do this so that they, my stencils don't stick to one another. And then as I'm doing this, you can see what these look like again. Okay, so those are the traceable sheets. And then it says that we have some foil. The kit is $19.99 or $19.95 plus shipping. Um, okay, these are the foil. We have 12, 10 gold foil foil sheets. Oh, and 10 silver, 10 pink, and 10 rose gold. That's the colors in here. And then we have four charcoal cards, four vanilla, four white, four black, and 16 envelopes. I will say I have seen better quality envelopes, and these, these ones are not gummed either, so you'd have to stick these, but these are really flimsy envelopes. They're the quality that you see when you get those um, discount ki uh, card packs at Michael's, but these are, you know, a good sturdy card stock, not linen or anything, but linen is harder to get your images on. Okay, so... Let's play around with this and get one of my foil quill freestyle pens um, heated up. Okay, so I'm using the bold tip because I think I'm going to fill in some areas on a stencil that are pretty thick. I think I'll do this thank you, and I think the bold tip might be best. Let's see if that fits in there. Okay. And I have this swivel set here that I got from Totally Tiffany. I think it's going to help me as I'm doing my work here. So what I decided to do was to do this on black. And I might use two different colors of foil. So let's get some washi going here. I think I'm going to actually pin this down and then put this underneath there. Now we need to make sure too that when we're doing this that we are 
always making sure we're using the right foil. So make sure that I've got that covered and I don't. And by the time you get this all set up, probably your freestyle pen has done heating. So, okay, I'm using the bold one. And their instructions did say the bold may take longer to, you know, in other words, you need to be slower with it. I'm going to start here. And I suppose you could just outline it but I am going to outline and fill it in knowing that um, I'm going to end up with some kind of a texture here. What I'm doing is I'm holding down the pieces of the stencil like the middle of this T might want to pop up on me. And I'm going back and forth to fill in the T right now. And one thing you can do is you can lift up one corner of this to see, like I could lift up part of the foil to see how well this is transferring without lifting the whole thing up. So the center of this H wants to move as I push this up against it. So that's something that we need to be careful of. Now, I'm going to see, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. See, oops, sorry, I keep turning the darkness down. See the difference between where I've been and where I haven't been. So you can definitely tell where you have already come with the, um, with the pen here. So what I'm going to do is just lift up and see what it looks like. Not bad. I could see a couple little places that I want to come back in and just hit it really quick. Now again, this is going to be really textured and I knew that because we're using the tip of a pen here. Okay. So that is what it looks like at this moment. Isn't that pretty? Now I have this one. I'm see if it's going to fit on here. Apparently it will, but let's switch to a different color of foil. I have that. Let me use this one, this pink one here. Now I am not sure if this nib will fit. It won't. I'm going to have to change out nibs. And that's this one here. One thing you need to remember when you're heating these up, if you're heating up more than one, is don't let the nibs touch each other because they will melt some of the handle there. Okay, now I can see where my card ends. I put this at the bottom left corner, and I can see where my card ends, so I can still see how to balance this or center it. And when I first saw this whole idea, this whole system, I began to wonder if these wouldn't melt, these plastic stencils. Well, apparently they don't. Um, maybe these are made of a certain material. I'm not really sure. So we can just outline it or we can fill it in. I'm going to try outlining it, but I've, I realize that um, I might make a mistake and slip inside the design. If that's the case, I could just fill it in. I'm going to lift this, realizing that in doing so, I'm probably going to have a hard time reaching my alignment again, but I want to do this because this is an experiment, and I want you to see um, how it looks with me just trying to outline it when I really think, though, that it's not going to work well, but we don't know. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm surprised. The only thing I would say, and I do see a problem right there. 
Okay. Is it was just hard for me to line this up and I accidentally got it a little bit over what I already have there. Oh, I had two sheets of that. Oh, crud. I didn't realize I had two sheets of foil, so I've just damaged them both. Okay. That is actually pretty. Okay, I see where I'm missing a couple lines here that I didn't get them fully in, but I like the outline look overall. I think it's very pretty. Okay, let me move this off. And so what I did with that was I did it on a separate piece so that I could do this and just mount it on there. Okay, however, I'm going to heat up my calligraphy tip before I add this there. And I'm going to put a strip of the pink gold down here before I mount this. Um, I'm going to be using some foam tape. And this is the Crafty Foam Tape from Scrapbook Adhesives. This is in my shop. I am a fan of foam tape. Um, I like that. You can cut off how much you need. And I probably could have done pieces here instead of big strips. But I just think it's more economical to use these. Let's open this up. Okay, I'm going to get that pink foil again. I'm going to line that up with the bottom of my card here. I notice that the foil is not... It's not the exact width of my card. So one thing I could do would be to trim the card down to match the foil. And I'm going to take a ruler. And I'm going to draw right against the ruler with the flat edge of my calligraphy one. You know what? I want to get this flush against there. I should have taped the whole thing. I realize that now. Instead of just the one little strip at the bottom. Because otherwise it pulls. Or I could start at the beginning and go this way and then start at the beginning and go the other way. Next I need to work on a storage system for my foils. I just think that really adds a little bit of oomph to the card that it didn't have before. All right, and then we need to practice with the tracing of these papers here. There you go. So we have ourselves a gold foiled card. Very pretty. Okay, now let's use one of those papers that came for the tracing. Let's try that. Okay, I'm going to try this one here, and so I'm going to go back to my normal size nib. And what I've done is I've ordered a USB um, charging station that can plug in several USB ports at once and that will make it a lot easier on me next time. So this time, let me use different colored paper. Let's go with this. And let's, I want to center this first so I know, okay, when I put my foil down where I'm actually drawing. Well, the pink is out here, so let's go ahead and use that again. You might need to switch your washi tape after you've used it several times because it starts to lose its stickiness. While I'm tracing this, I'll tell you my auto ship bad juju stories. <laughs> and I'll try to remember where I am. So the first time I ordered an auto ship on HSN was the deal they had on their um, mini Evolution Advance die cutting machine. And frankly, the items that were in the auto ship were what I wanted because they were much more appealing to me than the items that came with the 
Evolution Advanced. So I did a box opening and I'll give you the video down below. And in the box opening, I realized that part of the, um, part of my, uh, there was a piece that was broken. And so I called the company, asked for just the replacement piece. And they said, well, no, you have to send in everything, return it all in the box, send it all back in, and we have to send you an entirely new box. And I said, well, I thought that was very wasteful. So while I was talking to her, I, I fiddled with the item and I actually fixed it. And I said, you know what? Never mind. I just snapped off the little piece that was extra that was causing me problems. And so let's not do that. I'll just keep this one. Well, in the process, while I was talking to her, she had actually canceled my order, which including included canceling all the auto ships. And then uh, when I said, never mind, I'll keep this one, she didn't resume my auto ship. So I never got any of the auto ships and they completely sold out. And when they sell out, that means that you can't get any of the auto ships, even if any of them are defective, they're gone. There aren't any. So with this, I ordered the foil quill freestyle pen I didn't even realize the first auto ship had even come until one of my viewers commented on my video that it had come in November and I went through all my emails. There was nothing about it in my email and I went to um, I went to my account on HSN and found that the November one never shipped because during that time our credit card had gotten hacked and so the credit card didn't process so they didn't ship it. Uh, but they never emailed me saying, fix your credit card information. Um, so this time when I called back, uh, they hadn't sold all of these kits out, so they were still able to try and send me one. So I do have one coming for the very first auto ship. It's just late. Oh, it did. My thinking was, I wasn't sure if tracing through this paper... Um, would limit the ability of the heat to go through. So you may have noticed I was going pretty slow as I was tracing. Um, so let's take that off and take a look at it. Oh, it's cute too. I like it. So that's a solution. If you feel like you can, and I could have also, by the way, colored those in. It just takes a little longer. But if you think like you can't draw, you can't write, here's an option. Just use really lightweight printer paper and print off something that you want to trace. And then you got, you've got your gold foil right there. Not necessarily gold, but I mean your foil is on the card. How cute is that? That is very sweet. I love the diversity. I love that it's challenging me on new ways to use this. And uh, hopefully that inspires you on some foiling techniques. Keep in mind that I guess there are two kinds of foil or maybe more, I don't know, but you have to use the right kind of foil and that's one that heat transfers like this one does. So I think this worked out really well and I love it. This will be really cute with some bright pink uh, eyelets right in there. Look at the links down below and I will give you the links to the other videos that I'm doing in this series. Thank you for watching.